Hi, welcome back to Mama Four Boys. Uh, this is Tommy, and tonight we are making baked feta pasta uh, with some chicken and tomatoes. That's uh, how good what goes in it. And uh, first thing we're going to do before before uh, my son Tommy comes in and, and begins the cooking and the recipe and everything else, I'm just going to got some chicken cooking up here to get it started, and I'm going to throw some. Uh, some kicking chicken on there, some Weber seasoning, just to give it a little bit of flavor while it's cooking in a little olive oil. And uh, some, some pepper. And a little salt. Don't need a lot. And we're going to let that cook for a little bit until it gets a little uh, crispy on both sides. And then we'll slice that up uh, whenever it, the time comes for the to go into the pasta, I believe. So, uh, with that, we'll be back soon. Okay, we're back here. Uh, I'm back with Tommy, and Tommy's going to uh, tell you what the next steps in the recipe are from here on out. Here we go. So you put the tomatoes in. We have two two uh, con small containers of tomatoes. Uh -huh. And then garlic. About how much are you going to put in there? Uh, I don't know, like two forkfuls. Maybe two and a half. Well, Alright. And then some oil. It's olive oil we're using. Just put it all over it. And then salt. Pepper. Oregano. Then you want to make a gap in the center. Once you mix it up, once you mix it up, you make a gap in the center for the cheese to go. In. Container of feta cheese. I don't know how many ounces that is. And bring it in a little bit more so I can see it. Okay, okay. there you go. Okay, there you go. And then once you get that over the center, I lost what I was looking for, but more oil on the top so it doesn't burn. And then you just like re season the cheese to yeah. It's all the same things you used before. We don't sound the best. We, we've all had uh, cold this week, and and uh, it's been been uh, pretty rough having a cold. So, what's the next step? A tiny, tiny bit of red pepper flakes. All right. And then you put it in the oven for what? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna look up the find out. we're gonna look up the temperature and the time to, to cook it, and we'll be back. All right, we're back. We've got the chicken. It looks like it's cooked. We're gonna uh, check check to make sure that it's uh, so it's 189 degrees. So that's good. Uh, it's all all the way cooked, and we'll put this in some tin foil and keep it warm while we get the water going for the pasta, and uh, get everything ready to put the meal together. We'll be back. All right, we're back, and we're now going to put this in the oven for 400 degrees for 20 minutes. All right, we're back. Our 20 minutes is up. We've got the uh, the feta cheese and the tomatoes, all the spices out of the oven. And tell us what we're doing now, Tommy. Just kind of crush it up and mix it until they're all broken. Move your hand around. Let's see what you've done, so we can see what it looks like when it's uh, as it's crushed. A bit. Okay, yeah, he's crushing up the tomatoes. That makes two. Okay, we'll uh, get these crushed up while our pasta finishes cooking, and uh, and we'll be back. 
Okay, now the pasta is done and the sauce is is, uh, is made. We're gonna add some noodles in and as we add them in. Tommy's gonna fold them into the to the sauce so they all get mixed in well. Take after that, that's good. All right, one more scoop. He says. Better to add your noodles in as you go so you don't dump them all in and have too many noodles. Um, can't take them back once they're all mixed in. So. I think that's a fair uh, right amount of noodles, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna plate it up, layer some chicken on the top of it, and get it ready to eat. And we'll be back for a taste test. All right, welcome back. And uh, this is the feta baked feta pasta with chicken, uh, homemade from scratch, uh, made by Tommy. And uh, we're gonna give it a taste test now. It looks so good, smells so good. I got a little bit of chicken here, some pasta. Mmm, <clears throat> the noodles are al dente, just lovely cooked, uh, wonderful. The tomatoes are, are perfect. This is, uh, this is probably, I, he's made this before and I think this is probably the best I've ever had it. Mmm, very good. Mm. You need to make this for your kids. Everybody will love it. Um, this is a, like a gourmet dish. Lots of spices in it. Uh, and uh, so make this for your family. We hope you love it. Um, it's not very expensive, uh, but make it for your family. Please share, like, and subscribe to our channel, won't you? Come back and see us. And uh, until the next time, God bless.